This is the Collector Car Podcast, the home for the auto enthusiast. Join Greg Stanley as he applies over 25 years of insights and analytical experience to the collector car market. He will interview the experts and throw in some fun stuff as well. All right, so this is my favorite part of the conversation. It's called Keep, Cash, or Crush. So I give you three cars, and you have to tell me which one you want to keep, which one you want to cash in, and which one you're okay crushing. So are you are you ready for this? I am ready. Let's go. <laughs> All right. The first car is a Mint 360 with 10,000 miles. Uh-huh. The second one is a 430 Scudiera with 30,000 miles and no service records. 30,000 miles and no service records? Correct. And the third okay. one is an F50 with a salvage title. Oh, man. Oh, good. If I made it hard on you, that means I'm doing my job. Yeah, that's 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 a good one. So, so real quick, so an F430 with thirty thousand, or Scuderia with thirty thousand miles, no service history. Yep. A Mint 360 with uh, ten thousand miles. Let's make it harder. Let's right. make it five thousand miles. Five thousand miles. Okay. And the other one's an F50 with a salvage title. Yes. Which one will you keep? Which one will you cash? And which one will you crush? I, I think I would. I would still keep the F fifty all day long. Really? Okay. Um, yeah, I'll take the salvage title. Sure. Um, <laughs> as far as cash in, obviously, I think it, is the three hundred and sixty a six speed manual. Let's say no. No. Okay. Great question. Then, though. The, yes. Well, that 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 makes a difference, you know, because. Uh, I would probably cash that one in. You know, that's tough because that I think, like I said previously, the Scuderia is kind of the F40 of today. Yep. I don't care really about the service history or lack thereof. That That is a tough one. But uh, F50, you keep. Those are, that's the rarest of them all. I think you, wow. Which I, one I guess do you, you crush? You, <laughs> that's the that's the thing is you know you can uh i hmm, the 30,000 miles obviously from a salesperson's point of view um now by crushing does that mean you can crash it race it until you crash no, it or actually no, in the crusher throw no, it in, the, in crusher. the crusher in the crusher wow. You know, if you could just throw a Porsche in there, then it'd be easy. But okay, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, then uh, I would already have it. Um, I would say, I, I guess, you know, the 360 isn't as rare at that point. It's not a manual. Let's crush that one. All right. Let's cash cash in on the Scuderia. All right. I love it. That's a great way to look at it. And I'm so happy you struggled so hard with that. That means I did my job. I, I did struggle. I did struggle with it. But <laughs> I was just kidding more about the Porsche, but it would have been easy at that point. <laughs> That's right. It would have been easy at that point. <laughs> to make a Ferrari brand ambassador squirm is makes my day. So thank you so much, yes. Adam. Absolutely. You're welcome. Thanks for listening to the Collector Car Podcast. Don't forget to give us a nice rating on iTunes and be sure to follow us on Instagram and everywhere else at the Collector Car Podcast.